They said Kabiesi was so agitated as he begs Queen Naomi when uh, he got an information that Queen Naomi's family have written to the Council of Yoruba Chiefs to regain her freedom. One thing I, I say about this whole thing is begging cannot solve this problem. The only thing that can solve this problem is for Kabiesi to choose between these women and Queen Naomi. And it will be very difficult for him to dismiss all of these women that he gathered in his palace, considering their calibers and their status. So the best thing for him to do is to let Queen Naomi go because he cannot eat his cake and have it. Mm -hmm. And one thing people are saying is this, that uh, he is begging Queen Naomi to talk to her mother to withdraw the case that they can settle it amicably, you know. But I don't think he is ready to settle anything with Queen Naomi. All he wanted to do is to keep Queen Naomi and keep all these other women. He wants to force Queen Naomi to accept polygamy by all means, even when he knows that Queen Naomi does not look, uh, like that, you know. But some people are saying that uh, the same way he influenced those uh, judges, and the uh, lawyers, the first time that Queen Naomi went to customary court for this same case, that he is going to do the same with this Yoruba Obas, with this, this Yoruba Council of Chiefs that Queen Naomi's family have written to. But I bet you he might not be able to win it this time. Reason is because, in as much as they said he is their head. He is the leader of that group and all of that. Uh, I want to let you know that even on his throne as a king, there are people who are looking for loopholes, as in for him to make a mistake so that they will use it against him to push him down the throne. Yes, I'm sure you, you must have heard something like that. But even if you did not hear it, I want to let you know that things like that do happen. And I don't think Ileife is exceptional in cases like that. It's not everybody that is happy for people on seat. Someone like uh, this, uh, our president, Tunubu, a lot of people does not love the fact that he is there. And they are looking for opportunities to dethrone him or, you know, push him down the seat. And I believe the same thing is applicable here too. So... And if KBSC want to maneuver this case that is brought before this uh, Council of Yoruba Chiefs, I am sure there are one or two people who will tell him that things are not done like this. You promised this young lady that there will be no polygamy. You failed her. Now she needs her freedom. You need to do it too. That is what you will do. I'm sure there are people who would say that and i also believe that if he is able to kind of maneuver things there there are other places where queen naomi and her family will go and seek for uh her freedom i'm sure by the time they struggle and struggle and cry and with the help of queen naomi's lovers on social media let me tell you you see this social media, it is very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Do you know one reason KBSC is begging Queen Naomi to talk to her parents to withdraw the case from this council of chiefs and all of that? We do know that KBSC's case is all over, everywhere. People like to hear about Oni of Ife, what he does, both the good and the bad. And the bad ones, people will drag him. You have seen what happened when that issue of $180,000 was trending, even though he was innocent, but people were busy calling him names, calling him a uh, scammer, calling him a uh, Yahoo boy, Yahoo man, and all of that. That one, he is not even, he didn't do anything about it, or he's nothing, he's not even involved in that case and anything. It's just a setup to bring his name down and look at the way people took it upon themselves. Let alone this one that they are very much aware that he is involved. He is guilty here. 
So the main reason he is begging for the case to be withdrawn is not as if he might not try to maneuver things and uh, dominate that case. No, but because he knows that a lot of people will come for him. His name is always very sweet in our ears. <laughs> Anytime we hear only of him, hey, now so people, they like to listen and care for it, you know. And when it comes to do with Queen Naomi, you know that Queen Naomi have lovers. A lot of people love Queen Naomi genuinely, you know. And that is why some people will tell you that even if Kabiesi end up marrying Queen Naomi or Queen Naomi end up not marrying Kabiesi, they will always be singing Queen Naomi's praises because they love her genuinely. There are people like that. A lot of people love Queen Naomi, not just in Nigeria, all over the world. And a lot of people will stand out for her, even if it means... Uh, protesting on social media against what Oni Ofife is doing to Queen Naomi, a lot of people will do it. The only thing we want Queen Naomi to have is her happiness and freedom. Let KBSC give her her freedom. If she decides to still stay with him, let it be her decision. Because when all of this thing was happening, he was just an, he was just 20 something years, around 25 years, and very naive. He doesn't understand it this way. He thinks that KBSC's word will be his bond. Yes, but on the contrary, he goes against his words. And now Kwenomi once said he doesn't want again. Reason is because he doesn't want to be part of your harem of women. And you don't want to let her go. It simply means that you have ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. And I am happy that the family are no longer folding their arms waiting for KBSC to do something of which we know that he is not ready to do anything. The only thing he can do is to beg Kwenami from today to, from now to tomorrow, telling him to uh, telling her to give him time. Time to do what? Time to buy her. Abi? So at this point they said Kwenami's mother have written to the Council of Yoruba Chiefs to talk to KBSC about giving Kwenami her freedom the same way he did to Urola. When Wurola said he, she's no longer interested, she wants to go, KBSC did it. Maybe he did it because Wurola is from a royal home. They can challenge him. But looking at Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi is not from a royal home. But I believe that God of Queen Naomi is bigger than any royal home. And when he decides to fight for her daughter, uh, Wala Gode, mm-hmm, Anyway, guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share my video, and tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Don't forget that I really appreciate your support for me, okay? Thank you so much for being here. Bye. See you.